Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today I have a couple of games that, while not necessarily bad or good games, they're games that some interesting things happened and they don't really deserve their own video by themselves, but together they go quite well. So, anyway, on top of that, thank you guys for getting us to 5,000 subscribers yesterday. We got there, I actually don't know when, I just checked it when I was about to get off of work, and we hit 5k. I cannot thank you guys enough for that, this has been amazing. We went from 5k to, from 5k, we went from 4k to 5k extremely fast, and I was surprised at that too. Um, and the channels are doing really, really, really well recently, and I mean, it's all, it's all you guys. I gotta say, it's, it's really just encouraging to see this many of you guys here wanting to see more content it really helps me a lot because this this in a full-time job it's difficult to say the least to juggle all of this together but you guys are making it worth it and i thank you guys for that so um before i get into commentating there is a giveaway i'm going to be giving away a tier 8 premium ship I haven't decided which one yet it's looking like uh based off of the poll on youtube that i posted yesterday it's looking like it's probably going to be either the Massachusetts or the the Turpits. Yes, it's going to be either the Massachusetts or the Turpits. So uh, the way this is going to work, I'm going to put up a... Um, this isn't a code for a ship, but I'm going to put up a code somewhere in this video. And you guys will need to type that code in an email or on Discord and send it to me. Um, if you go by email, just use the email in the link uh, down below, the one where you submit your replays, just send it there. I'll sort through all of them, see which one I got at the earliest time. Same on Discord, so like if someone email, emails me, but some uh, someone sent me a message on Discord first, I will just go with whoever got there first. Now, um, if whatever ship that I send to you, I do believe that if you do have the ship already, it will just give you the doubloons value of the ship. And this is unfortunately only for North America. It's just how the game works. If I could send it over to Europe to you guys over there, I would. But unfortunately, it's only for North America. So that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the games. So right now, um, I am in Stalingrad. Both of these clips are in Stalingrad. After uh, recording the little B-roll for it for the previous Top 5's video, I decided I wanted to take it out again and um, try it out. Because I, I played the ship, obviously, a lot when I first got it, but I haven't really played it too much recently with all the new ships coming out and such. This is my module build right here, and this is my captain build. Alright, so we're over here on the sea cap, and by the way, in this game, there are six Shimakazes. <laughs> uh, both side has three Shimmies uh, with them, so if you haven't noticed the higher than average amount of torpedoes on the map that is why so early on i got a lucky set it off on that zav who i'm still uh, shooting at and naturally i'm hanging back because while stalingrad is pretty good at dealing with destroyers it's got some really good a uh, he and of course radar against three shimikazes and if you look at if you look at the mini map two destroyers are hanging around c and they're they're both shimmies so I guess that many torpedoes, uh, yeah, Stalingrad's not that fantastic. It's a fast ship, but it does, you know, take about the circumference of the moon to turn. So I mean, look at that on screen. There's, uh, what's that, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. I think there's 30 torpedoes on the screen right now. Like, Jesus, uh, there's a one over there by the, by the Republic. So uh, the Republic and the Shemikazi have been hunting down the friendly... Shimakaze over here and Republic so he took a torpedo and maybe knocked out his engine because he is just sitting completely still and oh there's a lot of fire coming in on that Republic I get a okay pin off of him 9,000 damage and ooh he gets some nasty follow follow-up shots from I think our Yami but the fires from the Conqueror actually the thing that take him out so here I am trying to take out the Shimakaze. Now keep in mind, this is the first time, well, second time I've played Stalingrad recently, so you're going to see me really leading my shots way too much. It's because I, when I play Super Cruises, I mostly play the Alaska, and you all know what American uh, AP is like. It, it's extremely slow. So if you'll see that happening a lot, that's why. 
Also, on top of that, uh, Stalingrad's AA is actually quite nice. This is a 1950s era design, so it has a really deep, good AA. And it, it does get defensive fire on top of that. And you guys will see that come into play later. So, Republic has been knocked out, and I'm feeling a bit more confident about pushing up now because that means there are only two Shimakazes. And now I have this friendly Kabrosk with me who's pushing up. So me and him are going to push up together. I'm letting him know I'm going to pop radar in about five seconds. That way he can get ready to roast any Shimakazes that become spotted. And I'm holding it on for a little bit longer until I get well within range of the cap. And oh, look at that. The two shimmies. So, yep. I think I leave this one a bit. Actually, no, I don't leave that one too much. I aim too low. Or the Shimakazes turn at the last second. And now I'm getting chewed on by the small lynx and the wooster over from the B cap. And this ship is just as susceptible to HE spam like any other battleship because the Stalingrad gets battleship burning and flooding times. It doesn't get the cruiser burn and flood time, so this ship really doesn't like HE, especially HE from Woosters and Small Lynx because of the fire small lynx, my bad. Uh, because of the fire rate. And it does not get the special Russian um, damage con. It does have unlimited charges of it, and it does have to wait the full time for it to cool down. And there I just popped the defensive fire because the midway is trying to get all over me. And he gets some hits, but unfortunately doesn't set any fires. And I'm trying to turn around now, and then I forgot the car first is looking right at me. I'm like, oh shit, this is about to be bad. Because Stalingrad's side armor is not all that fantastic. So I put the fires out, and yep, big chunk of my health gone dead. That actually could have been a lot worse. I do believe since it was the curfers, a good portion of those shells either hit the superstructure or hit just in front of my ship. So that is nowhere near as bad as that should have been. I probably, if that curfers RNG was a bit better, I would probably be dead. So I got off lucky there. So now after, after having used all of my consumables at once, I am running away and oh, get drilled up the tailpipe by the curve first. That time his RNG was good. He got, I think that was a 10 or 11k salvo off, the, off of me. At a high small lengths, the current Russian bias cancer. Remember when Stalingrad was the, uh, <laughs> was the cancer and now it's small lengths. Uh, naturally he turns in time to avoid the shots. So right here I'm falling back because I cannot really take any more damage, especially from that curve first. So I'm trying to get out of his accurate range. You see there, his dispersion is already way worse, and we're, what, 15, 16 kilometers away from him. Finally go dark as the, as the cyclone rolls, and I really should, probably should have waited for that before pushing up anymore. And now I'm loading HE because I know we are going to be just dealing with these Shimakazes since the curve first is way out there, and I'm now uh, undetected by the um, ships at B. And actually, this little sand barge, I don't remember when this thing got added into this map. I really haven't played on this map in a while. Uh, I already have run, ran to it twice, and now it's getting in my way of getting closer to sea and popping radar for my Kabarosk and my Montana, who's pushing up at sea. So naturally, the Shimakazes, and there are two of them that smoke screen, are dumping everything they have at this Montana, and this Montana is selling broadside to their torpedoes. He starts to turn away from them here. He probably sh really should have just turned into them. And fortunately, he only takes two from that salvo. But like I said, there is another Shimakaze up in that smoke. Letting the Kabaros and the Monty know that I'm about to pop a radar. Again, we'll hold it till I get... Ooh, nicely done, Kabaros. He managed to take out of that one of the Shimakazes. So now I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm trying to get my whole radar diameter inside the sea cap. And there we go. There's a Shimakaze. So... Again, I aim a little bit too far forward, still used to that American AP, do manage to tag him on the nose, I mean American shells. And now the Kabrosk is fortunately tearing into him, and as long as I'm spotting him, and as long as that Kabrosk is doing damage to him, this is working. And now the Shimakaze goes and hides behind the island. Or actually, he doesn't hide behind the island, he flies off from the other side of it. I lead him a little bit less here, but he goes undetected. I do get one hit on him there. Fire a third turret. I uh, fire the third turret in hopes of just nicking him there. Oh, hi, Midway. So this Midway decides to come after a Montana and a Stalingrad that has air cover from their carrier. Um, yeah. Doesn't work out too well for him. 
I'm surprised his planes are lasting for this long. I don't know, he recalled them. So another situation is that we're pretty even on ships actually right now. Oh, and this, by the way, it's a straight tier 10 game. There's no tier 9, no tier 8. This is all tier 10. So we have C. We need to capture B in order to win. We're both down four ships. Wow, we're down two. I didn't notice this when I was playing. We're both down two destroyers, a cruiser, and a battle. Well, now they're down another Shimikaze. So they have one DD left. We have two DDs left. Uh, one of ours is a Cabros, and their other one is a Shim. Well, never mind. We are both now down only to one destroyer. We have a Cabros, though, and they have a Shimikaze. And in this situation, I would much rather have a Cabros than a Shimmy, the mighty gunboat itself. Here comes the Midway again. I mean, I can't really blame him this time because it does appear he is trying to take out our Cabros. That's why I turn wide to the right to get my full side on him with my defensive fire. That way. I can provide cover for the cabbie. And then he comes around for seconds. But he doesn't get anywhere for seconds. He either recalled him or me and the Monty shot them all down. So now I'm thinking that this Shimakaze, he's either bugging out northeast or he's running toward B to regroup with his team. So I've got about five seconds left for my radar. You're going to see me again. I type in chat that I'm about to pop off my radar. You always want to do that because if you don't tell people you're about to pop your radar, even though it does announce it now, they, the, your, your teammates won't be ready for it. They won't be looking around waiting to spot the usually destroyer when you're popping radar and start to shoot at them. So it's very important that you let your team know when you're about to use that because it's a very viable resource. So I pop it off and well, lo and behold, Shimikaze is hiding behind the island at B. There's a Kerr first and a Montana. Hi, Kerr. First, I have HE loaded. I have AP queued up next since I have all these armored ships in front of me. And let's see, is this going to start a fire? No, get some OK pins, about 3,000 damage. And now I'm loading AP to hopefully do a bit more damage to him here. As you can see, he's opening up wide. I'm assuming he's trying to get all his guns or his secondaries on the Kabrosk. And there is that darn midway again. Focus my A on that side. I actually get a hit and a. Oh. Got one hit, five bounces off of the GK there. And I'm actually surprised these planes got through because that Montana is still right behind me. But one, two, one was on the torpedo protection, one did get taken on the bow, so not that bad. And now if you notice this Yammy, this Yammy's being quite quite brave. He well he just he just uh burned down the Kalvarosk apparently. And the enemy Montana took out our friendly Conqueror that was at B. So this Yami is coming through the channel in between B. So I'm trying to turn in to get my bow face toward him to where I can shoot him in the Citadel when he comes through. And our Monty is being very aggressive and this is more than likely building the Yami to come forward. So now I realize I'm not going to get turned around in time. I'm just going to go ahead and beach myself. That way I can shoot the Yami Citadel when she comes by. So here she comes. There goes the Monty. I aim at her little weak spot there. And kaboom! Five Citadels for 52,000 damage from that one salvo. Like, okay, the Monty's th going to finish him off and I'll still have a tier 10 battleship with me. Oh, never mind. So now I have just beached myself in front of a Yami. Aim for his weak spot. Again, take him out. Somehow bounces that shot and... I get uh, one overpin from the Yami there. I'm sure, he's raging. And you'll notice my ship is in full reverse, but I am not moving. My ship is stuck. And the cyclone's ending. Yeah. So I'm trying to rock the ship out of the. Oh, hi, Curve first. Yeah, from nine kilometers away within his death range. There's a secondary. He's managed to bounce that salvo because I am still pretty stupidly angled toward him. He starts to open up for some reason. So this gives me a good profile of him to shoot at, and I'm still stuck on this island. Gets a big hit off of me. I'm out of repairs, by the way. I get a decent shot off on him. Thankfully, I do have adrenaline rush, so my reload is quite fantastic now. And I'm still angled to where a lot of his um, shells are bouncing, but it's getting worse every time he shoots at me. He has 150 health left. Of course that salvo couldn't get him off, uh, couldn't finish him off. Midway's coming in, I'm popping my defensive fire, focusing my AA. He shoots me his broadside, I'm, bop I'm popping damage con. And there he goes. Ooh, that wasn't too bad. But now my 
my stern is showing off of the corner of this island and there's a small nisk over there and I'm trying to turn my turrets around in time to where I can shoot at him. Not stopping, not stopping, got it floored forward. I am the only one left alive on my team and yeah, the stars are fire. And goodbye, Stalingrad. Ironically, killed by the small nisk, the old Russian cancer got killed by the new Russian cancer. That's mighty poetic, ain't it, fellas? So two kills, 135,000 damage, pretty good game, finished top of the team. Now this game, in Stalingrad again, and I'm going over to the B cap to support my destroyer that's over here. Ooh, managed to get two citadels off on that Mosva. And this is honestly probably closer than you'd want to get in a Stalingrad. Um, but I was kind of not paying attention during the first couple of minutes of this match, so I just sailed into this position. But I'm like, okay, got an island on one side, have a channel in front of me where I can shoot at, you know, whatever's being, whatever's showing their broadside, and, and that was a sucky shot right there. I am radared, but I'm not being fired on just yet. Again, another full tier 10 game. So this tells me that there's really no one around me that can shoot at me, so I'm pretty good, but they do know where I am at. So I do start to back up in case someone is pulling some sneaky stuff off. So I'm hard spotted, so there's probably a destroyer somewhere around me. Again, I'm watching my sides, making sure no uh, magic shells or torpedoes are about to appear and get me. And then I, <laughs> I kind of crappily blocked this Yu Yang in um, by accident. But he was, thankfully, patient enough to wait for me to pass before just grinding his ship into the side of mine. The Montana right there. Not much is going on too far. Uh, we have a half health gearing who is getting into the sea cap along with the Yu Yang. And I'm, t I'm detected again. Again, it's probably a destroyer chilling up somewhere up there that um, our destroyers just aren't spotting yet. Undetected again. There's a Des Moines rather quite close, and if you look right there, there's a Republic coming in from about 11 kilometers away. Republic is definitely a battleship you do not want to get caught out in the open with when you're in a Stalingrad. Take a shot at him, and ooh, pretty decent shot, 10,000 damage on a broadside battleship, three pins and an overpin. Undetected again, all the smoke's going up. So at this point, I'm like, okay, the enemy looks like they're pushing this hard. I've got a bunch of smoke in front of me. It should be sh safe for me to go ahead, turn around, get some distance, and back up at this point. After these torpedoes pass. <laughs> oh, Gearing got our Yu Yang. Ah, tragic. So now I'm trying to see if I can somehow dodge these torpedoes. Looks like I am going to eat one on the bow for sure. So I decided to open up and see if I can just get to hit my torpedo protection where it won't cause flooding, but naturally it does cause flooding. Put that out right away. So at this point I'm like, okay, um, our destroyers are going down pretty fast. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So I pop radar just to spot the gearing and naturally, right as I'm turned, broadside on to the world, the Des Moines pops his radar again. And it's American radar, so it's going to be around for a second. I'm like, okay, maybe the Republic's distracted, but if you guys just saw right there, he's looking right at me. I'm like, ah, shiza. Got to get out of here. Ooh, big hit there from the Republic shells. Bouncing to the Yu Yang right here. Excuse me, buddy. There's his engine boost. He's trying to get the heck out of Dodge right now, as am I. And I'm being targeted, I would imagine, by pretty much everything in front of me. Ooh, rip. Yu Yang, the Des Moines, got him. Ah, so we've lost nobody at this point, by the way. We're down three ships, and they haven't lost a single soul yet. My damage comes about to come off cooldown, and I'm about to pop it, because, boy, I cannot afford to lose any health. So the radar is ended finally, so now I'm relatively safe from shots. But, of course, I'm, I get spotted right away, right after, because such as life and ooh, just tagging my stern a little bit there trying to dance trying to throw off their aim I'm mainly just trying to run away because the Stalingrad is a very fast ship I'm just trying to run away that way I won't be physically spotted anymore but there's there's a destroyer that's shadowing me somewhere this Montana's pushing up 
Uh, we managed to sink a cruiser in the enemy team. I took that up the stern. And we're good. Ah. Ooh, that came close. <laughs> so now that I'm all the way in the back with the rest of the team, I decided I'm going to turn around now, get my bow pointed toward C and D, and start putting in some work. But naturally, as I'm almost completely broadside to the C cap, anyone want to take a guess what happens? Anyone? 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 I get detected, broadside onto a Montana. Fan frickin' tastic. So he takes a shot at me. I have my herder, my rudder hard over to the left, and ooh, thankfully that was just a miss and an overpin. So now I can get the the bow of my ship pointing toward the Montana and start to play this thing like a large Mosfa. Ooh, I took a hit. I think that was from the Yammy. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe from the Kremlin way back. I doubt that was from the Kremlin. So bow to the Montana now. Of course there's torpedoes. I start to floor it just in case more are on the way. And thankfully no more are coming. So now I've switched over to HE since this, Mon this Montana is just sitting broadside on to me. So I've got a Republic and a Yammy back here with me. I'm going to ask them to go ahead and concentrate fire on this Montana. And boy that dispersion is something ain't it fellas. <laughs> Uh, it looked like it was about to bracket the superstructure of the Montana. So now I'm doing what I like to call the Iowa two-step. Ooh, money just took a big hit from somebody. I call it the Iowa two-step because I perfected this when I was in the Iowa. You point your bow at the enemy ship, either angled or straight on. Go in reverse, forward, reverse, forward, reverse, forward. Slightly messes up their aim and extends your life as much as you can. Uh, but with the Stalingrad, you need to stay a bit more angled. That way you won't eat too many pins. And the Montana gets taken out by the Yammy. But we just lost our last destroyer too just then. So I pop radar to see what's uh, what's around. And there is that gearing right there. I'm keeping him spotted for the Kremlin over there to my left. That way he can deal with them. Now the Kremlin, you don't really need to load a Chi to deal with any destroyers. From this range, and he looks it looks like he's about... Mm, Six five kilometers away from that from that gearing, his AP is going to be so accurate because of the way the Russian guns work. He doesn't need to worry about HE. He will just kill him through sheer overpins. And just like that, actually, I think his sec yeah, his secondaries actually kill him there. It's one of the rare times I see the Kremlin secondaries get uh, get a kill. So now that destroyer dead, I'm just taking a look at this Kremlin, making sure he's not looking at me because I'm going to try and push up into the sea cap and help out our Kremlin cat, uh, to cap it. Naturally, there's a, that darn Republic again. <laughs> so, got to go back, uh, back bow on to him. But fortunately, my friend in the Kremlin is no coward and he's going to push up and deal with this Republic. Now, as much as the Republic would like to kill a Stalingrad, a Kremlin from about four kilometers away, that's that's kind of a top priority there. So, ooh, that should have been a lot worse. For, ooh, God, ow, that's why you don't want to be around a Republic and a Stalingrad just took a 10k hit to the nose. Ugh. So, Grant, thankfully, I did also just do a 10k hit to the Republic's broadside, so kind of fair trade there. I do have one more heal left now. Checking that Kremlin, seeing where he's at. Checking the on the Yami over there. So, this, this Kremlin's doing a fantastic job of shoving this Republic up out of the cap, although he is eating, mm, well, all of the Republic's secondaries, which are very good at starting fires. As you can see, the Kremlin is getting nice and toasty right now. So I decided to push up and, oh, Republic, try to get me there. I just realized that my cool's off cooldown, my cool's off cooldown, my hill's off cooldown, and pop that. Aim for the superstructure of the Republic. Still getting some decent pins off of it, too. 5,000 damage right there. And, again, thankfully, with, I do have adrenaline rush, so my health being this slow is working out quite well. The Republic's moving forward, I'm assuming, to try and ram the Kremlin. But, thankfully, I, get, I, uh, I managed to take him out before that happens. So now my team is managing to crawl our way back. Uh, we are taking the C cap now. I'm going to go in here 
and just speed up the cap time because we are 300 yeah we're around 300 points behind the enemy team and naturally a shimikaze pops up right in front of the kremlin so i switch over to he and get ready to try and take this guy out or pop my radar if he decides to go undetected now why in the world the shimikaze is charging our kremlin guns blazing i don't know again i am too far forward um, I would have thought he would have just dumped his 15 torpedoes and gone dark, but no, this guy wants to uh, fight with his guns. I, I don't know. Thankfully, the Kremlin's aim is way better than my aim. Again, I am way too far forward there. At this point, I was actually like smacking myself in the head, just like, why are you like this? Why can't you aim right with when you're aiming against the Shimakazis? And trying to counter his maneuvers, dodging torpedoes. Ooh, that one actually did bracket him. And does a Kremlin get him? No, nope, Kremlin doesn't get him. Adjusting my aim. Not leading him as much now. Oh, look, there's a gearing sneaking up on me too. And there we go. Thankfully, I finally hit him. Ironically, knocking out his torpedo tube as he goes. So I know there's a gearing that's about to crop up on my right. And there he is. So I'm going in reverse. So I slam it forward because I know he's, he's probably dumping his torpedoes as if I was going to, to continue to go in reverse. So I'm slamming it, well, flooring it as hard as I can to get out of there. He's turning away. I get his steering gears. And I get another good hit there, 4,000 damage. Waiting for my rear turret to reload. My secondaries are going off. They've actually managed to hit him a couple of times. He turns in and goodbye gearing. Okay, fine, I got him. And oh, hello, Shimakaze torpedoes. And bonk, one right to the nose. So I pop, I pop radar, and oh boy, a Rugamo now. <laughs> oh, freaking course. So I'm turning and trying to get my bow toward him, and he's just slowly whittling away at my health. Takes some last minute shots because I know I'm about to go down. He doesn't. He uh, maneuvers away from them, and I get taken out by the Harugamo. 108,000 damage. We almost claw our way back from a defeat. Um, unfortunately, we did not go on to win that match. I did finish second on the team, though. But those were some pretty dang good matches, and I was happy with the outcome of both of them, even though I didn't win. Those were some darn good games. And, I mean a lot better than the games I was having last week and those are some really good games some good highlights there too for you guys and I hope whoever found the code, hope you managed to email me or message me on discord or whatever and I hope you enjoy your ship buddy I probably won't be able to get it to you today because I'll be at work maybe this afternoon but I will certainly email you or message you. Oh, also, if you find the code, make sure you send me in your username as well that way I can send it to you so thanks for watching guys. Hope you are having a wonderful Thursday. Thank you guys for 5,000 subscribers. So let's go ahead and get on our way to 6,000 subscribers now. And now we're on the big push for 10,000 subs. And when we get there, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because that's, that's a pretty dang big, big number. 5,000 is a big number for me. So this is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. I'll catch you guys in the next one.